Hello and welcome to video editing for beginners on iMovie using the iPhone. So if you just launch the app, what you'll see is this opening menu screen. So let's just explore this for a moment. So in the top corner, you'll see a circle with three dots. If I click that, that gives me an option to import a project. This means I can import any iMovie project. For example, if I've previously worked on one on an iPad or on a, a MacBook, for example, I can import that project in here. This also works on any other version of iMovie. So if I want to start a project on my phone and finish it on my iPad, for example. In the top right corner, I've got a question mark with a circle. So if I just click that, that just gives me some project information. So it gives me um, information around what the other buttons do. That's much more useful when once you're inside the project. If I click create project, I get two different features. So on my left, I've got create movie and on my right, I've got create trailer. If I create a trailer, it gives me a pre-made composite that I can work within and I just drag and drop and it cuts everything for me. If I create a movie, I have a little bit more control. So for today's tutorial, we're gonna click create movie. So I'll click that now. And then I get this media importer screen. On the left, you'll notice this looks very familiar to your Photos app. And it uses the same file and naming structure because it's dragging that media from that folder. So if I go down, I've got moments, video, photos, and albums. And on the right hand side, I've got all my media based on the date it was recorded, as you can see. I'm gonna click the videos tab because primarily we're working with videos. Again, I get another set of menus, but I'm just gonna click all so you can see all of the media. So now I want to bring media into my file. If I click a clip, so let's click this clip here. I get a couple of options. I can either play the clip and I get this neat little pop out that shows me what the clip is. I can tick the clip and then click create movie and that'll create a movie for me or I can adjust the clip by dragging the yellow handles to the side. So I'm just gonna adjust that there and I'm gonna click create movie. So what that's done is that's created the template for my movie and it's opened the iMovie app a little bit further. Again, the question mark is ticked. So it gives you a little bit of information. So if you're editing in this program and you get stuck, you can always use the question mark to navigate your way around. So we'll just close that for now. Let's just have a look at this interface. So in the center, we have my media player. So that's my clip that I've just imported. At the bottom, we have the timeline. And with my finger, if I just move from left to right, you'll see that that clip plays and goes in reverse. You'll also notice on the timeline, there's a white line. That's called the playhead. And wherever that is over the clip is what, what will play. Also at the end of the clip, you'll notice 5.9 seconds. That's the duration of the clip. Let's just have another look around here and see what we've got. If I click the gear icon on the right, this brings out another menu structure and I have a few more options. So at the top, we have project settings. So I can change the color. So we'll have this one in black and white for now. Just to note, if I click black and white, it will make all of the clips black and white. I can also change the theme I'm gonna keep my theme as modern. I can also add a theme soundtrack. So modern has its own soundtrack, but I'm, I don't want to do that for now. Um, I'm gonna click fade in from black and that means my movie will fade in, fade out from black, it will fade out. So if I just click done, you'll notice now that in my media viewer, my clip is black and white, but on my timeline, it's referencing the original clip. Underneath the gear icon, I can click the back button and that will undo everything I've just done. Now, iMovie doesn't have a forward button, so if I want to remake that change, I need to go back in and remake that change. Over on the left-hand side, we have done. If I click done, that takes me out of the project. So that's referring to when I finished my film. If I click plus, that will import media. And when I click play, obviously, that will play my media. So that's a basic overview of the interface. A couple of things just to know in terms of hidden features. If I click 
my timeline and I click the clip, you'll notice another menu pops up at the bottom. So moving from left to right, we have a pair of scissors, which is my trim. And then over on the right hand side, I get a list of options. So I can split my clip, I can detach it, I can duplicate it, or I can delete it. Things to know that if I split my clip, it will split where the playhead is. So that's the white arrow, the white line across the bottom. So just click that again. If I click the little speedometer, that's the speed of the clip. So if I move it to the left where the tortoise is, my clip will be slower. So you move that across and you'll just see that. And if I move it back, it will be quicker. Also, I can freeze it so I can add a freeze frame and I can add and I can reset all of that. Let me go back to my volume. You'll notice my volume is set halfway, but it's at 100%. So I can increase the volume of my clip. Equally, I can decrease the volume. So for this, I'm just going to decrease. Now, this is my opening clip. So I want to add a title to it. So I'm going to click the title and I get a set at the bottom of which I can use them. So these are pre-made uh, templates I can use. So I'm just going to use this one and you'll notice that appears directly in my player. So if I just click that and I'll delete that and I'll just put iMovie. Oops. And let's do the correct way to do that. And then tutorial. And we'll put here. Hitting on the iPhone. And we'll do this in capitals. So what that does is you'll notice if the word is longer, it decreases the size. And I'll just click done. So that's my title done. Now I could also have it in the center or I could have it lower down. I'm going to keep mine in the center for now. And then I'm just going to click off there. And that's done. I'm going to move my playhead to the end. And I'm going to click import media. So I'm going to go back to my videos. I'm going to go back to all. And now I've got a full viewer dedicated to just my video. So let me have a look. So we'll look at this one. And I'm not going to pay too much attention on to how I'm cutting it because the aid of this video is for you guys to get a sense of using um, iMovie and not for me to create the best film in the world. What you'll notice here though, is there's an extra icon on my movie folder. So I've got my plus icon, which as we know, brings it into the folder. I've got my play icon, which brings a pop out to play. But then I've also got three dots. So if I click those three dots, I get a series of other options. So I can import this clip as a cutaway. I can have it as a picture in picture. I can have it as a split screen, green or blue screen, or I can import the audio only. So for this, I'm just gonna click split screen. Now it's given me an error warning here. Because my playhead is at the end of the clip, there is nothing for this to attach itself to. So if I just, get rid of that and I cancel that and I move my playhead back like this and I click the plus button again and we'll just go for this clip and I'll just shorten that and I click this and I click um, split screen it'll now know that it wants to be split screen and again as you'll notice with my just play that with my titles they cut across the whole media player so I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to import some more footage. Now there is a way where you can import all this footage, but it will put it together on the timeline for you. I personally prefer to have a little bit more um, functionality, a little bit more control over the options that I bring in. So this one, I'm just going to import straight away. Now what you'll notice is it's added a transition there for me and it's extended that split screen. So remember, it's still black and white because I changed that in my folder, in my theme template. But from here, now I might not necessarily want that to split screen. So I select the top clip and I just pull that to the edge there. And that now will go to that clip. 
what it's also done is it's taken away that transition. So that's no transition. So if I click that there, I get a couple of other options. Um, because it's a split screen, some of these are grayed out, whereas normally I would be able to cross dissolve, I'd be able to slide, wipe, fade. But I'm gonna keep it as none for now. Oops, I've just undone that, let me put that back. I'm gonna keep it as none for now. Oh, there they are, there's my options, they've appeared now. Okay, so, extend that. so I'm doing all this with my finger, so it can be a little bit fiddly because the iPhone doesn't have the biggest real estate screen. So we'll go to there and I'll import another clip and let's um, let's have a look. Oh, we'll just have this lovely one of the lake and we'll just put that in in its entirety. So what it's done now is it's added that cross dissolve there for me. I can change that again by clicking, but we're just gonna leave it for now. You'll also notice that because, oops, excuse me, that's one of the other issues with the iPhone is that because it's multi-gestures, if you click to the edge of your screen, it moves it across. So just be aware of that when you're editing, it can be quite fiddly. So I'm here and I'm just playing that clip. So that's lovely. So I click my plus, just go back, go back again. Now, what you'll notice that has appeared at the bottom is an audio tab. So iMovie has some built-in audio already within the apps. If I just click that, I can go for soundtracks. I can use my music, so I can use my music from um, my app in my iPhone, or I can use sound effects. So if I just click soundtrack, I get a list here of different soundtracks and the artists. So let's go for something. There, we'll go for sweet. So that's downloading now. So that's there. And I now it's downloaded. I could just click the plus and that's instantly added it to my time. I've made that smaller. One thing to notice is it's clipped it to the duration of my clip. So it's there. So I don't have to trim the audio myself. It's already there for me. So say I've got to the end of my film and I know we've only got four clips in here and yours will obviously be a little bit more detailed than this, but again, we're just showing you the functionality. So I'm going over to the end. I've watched it. I'm happy with it. I'm at the end there. I need to put an end credit. So if I select that clip, my titles come up, but it's attaching it to that clip. So I can't actually put a title on a black um, background at the end because there's no data there according to iMovie. So if I wanted to have my title on a, a colored clip or a black clip at the end, I'd have to import a black clip or a black image for me to be able to do that. Um, for the sake of this, I'll just pop it on this clip here. So I'm just gonna pop this one on there and that's giving me a text slide at the bottom. And I will just put, thank you for watching and that's done there and that's attached it to that clip. So the other thing I wanted to show you is when we go back, I can also um, take photos myself. So I can allow um, iMovie to use my app, but, so we'll cancel that for now. I can also, if I go back there, I can record a voiceover. So if I just cancel that and I'll bring my playhead back to the beginning and I'll go back out there and I'll go voiceover and I'll record. This is Wayne Sables using the voiceover record function in iMovie for the iPhone whilst creating the video editing guide for beginners using iMovie. And then I'll stop this here. So you'll also notice whilst I was recording, a red line was going across the screen. This is Wayne Sables That's just the using the voiceover the record function. function. I just click review that. and we'll stop that. So that just plays back and I can review, it, review that, sorry. So I'm just gonna click accept. So that has now created another track on my timeline, which is my voice recording and my music. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna click done. 
So what happens next? So I come to an extra page, which is just all about my movie. So it's titled it My Movie 3. And the reason it's done that is I've had a couple of test plays before doing this tutorial um, and it just goes in sequential order. So if I just click that, I can rename that to iMovie Tutorial and click Done. Um, I can also click Edit and that takes me back into the editing software where I can make any more changes or add any more This footage. is Wayne Sables done. using the voice. I've got my usual option at the bottom. I can play that and it opens up a new viewer and it plays the whole film. Just come out of there or I can click my export options and I get my standard Apple export options here where I can go to social media or to my email or to WhatsApp. Or I can export the entire project which is again, if you remember at the beginning where we can import project, that's what I would do if I was going to go work on this on one of my other editing software such as um, iMovie for the iPad. But now I'm going to click save video. So then I get a list of options of how I want to save it right from small right through to 4K. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. So I'll just cancel that and I'll just go back to projects. And then as soon as I open iMovie, You'll see iMovie Tutorial or whatever you've called your film there. And that will just keep adding to depending how many films you've created. And they'll all appear in there unless you delete them. So that's a basic introduction to video editing on iMovie for iPhone with me, Wayne Sables. If you'd like me to do any more, please do let me know. You can reach out to me on my website at waynesablesproject.co.uk or you can connect with me on social media at Wayne Sables. Also, please do check out my other tutorials, iMovie for iPad and DaVinci Resolve for Beginners.